on this season's national champion. There's been so much that's gone into getting here, twists and turns, and now it builds to this, the battle for supremacy. And these two teams have survived the expanded playoff grind. They have battled through a regular season, multiple playoff victories, all sorts of challenges and adversity, and they've arrived at this moment, the battle for that precious trophy. As we'll see a team from the ACC, the Clemson Tigers, taking on another ACC team, the SMU Mustangs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here as always by Kirk Herbstreet. Kirk, everything has been building to this. It's time for the national championship. Let's crown a champion. The kickoff team is out there, and you can feel the energy. One game to determine the national championship. And it's fielded. Returner trying to create a big play here. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. The SMU Mustang special teams don't do the offense any favors with that return. And this quarterback, of course, Kirk, he's the guy that stirs the drink for this team. You talk about the total package. He runs it, produces it, directs it, acts out all the scenes. He's the whole package. I love a quarterback who understands the ins and outs of a football game. This kid plays like he wrote the manual. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. They try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Boy, great job by this defense on this second down run. Just stonewalled them at the line of scrimmage. Now they get a chance to really pressure the quarterback here, try to get off the field. There's a challenging third and eight now in this opening possession. Dropping back, it's Jennings. Quick catch over the middle. And he's brought down just short of a marker on that play. Good job by the defense to prevent the first down. On third downs like this, you can only allow completions in front of you as long as you can protect the sticks. And that's what the defense did here. They knew where the sticks were, and they were able to make the tackle short of the line. And the Mustangs will line up to kick it away. And this will be fair caught at the 35-yard line. So Clemson's offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. I just love watching his back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Here's the second down play. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty brings up third down. it off for a draw they stop him but it's a first down you know offensive linemen are just a certain breed they're always going to do their job no matter who's back there carrying the ball I'll tell you what they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big time runs that makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing running game is working they'll stick with it on first down and the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Offense getting set. Second down play here. And there's the handoff. And the runner brought down after just a short game.
Offense sets the formation. It's third down. Dropping back. It's Klubnik. The pocket breaking down. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. That is outstanding defense to be able to leverage this quarterback. That is a tough thing to do. This guy's as fleet-footed as any quarterback in the country. And to be able to bring him down for a loss like that is a major accomplishment. The Tigers will line up to boot it away. Running it back, it's Daniels. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the SMU offense is back out on the field now. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. That's good for first down yardage. They'll spot it at the 37. How about that offensive line? That's just getting a hat on a hat, opening just enough room for the back to be able to get through there for a big game. That's an important first down on that running play. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. Looks like they got the ruling on the field right the first time. They confirm it with the review. And looking to throw now on first down. He makes the grab. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. The Mustangs come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Now they run a draw play. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Boy, draws and screens are a great way to counter an effective pass rush. Allow those defensive ends to get upfield and then hand it off at the last second. And the Mustangs are in the red zone. They'll run it here. The running back has the ball. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. Of course, a nice job up front by the offensive line. But give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. See what the call is on first and ten. Back to throw. It's Jennings. Catch made on the left side. He's tackled, but down at the nine-yard line. Defense getting pushed around. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit when a big hit to knock that ball loose. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. And he'll drop back here on third down. Caught behind the line. It's Smith. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. This will be a chip shot from 25 yards out. Right down the middle. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. The 
come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. The last drive stalled, they were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Throws a stiff arm. Oh, what a move, goes right through the tackle. He's got room to run now. Refusing to be brought down before gaining first down yardage. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. And the Tigers looking to use the up-tempo offense here. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle. Kirk showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, then you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. Screen plays are risky because the defense can get to the quarterback and it also can be covered. Many times, the quarterback just throws it away. Here, they get some positive yards. I completion sets up an important third down play. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. That's reeled in. It's Randall. Tackle inside the 40, and it's good enough for a first down. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds a soft spot on the curl and picks up a first down. This comes an offense moving quickly down the field. It's a shotgun run call. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. Chris, it's pretty surreal to get to the national championship in this day and age of college football when everybody wants to spread you out and throw the football. This offense has been pounding the rock all year long. And here, how about the first half? This back is having a big day. Offense getting set. It's second down. Here's the handoff on a counter. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. And Kirk, it's SMU with the lead here. So both teams settling in in this battle for the national championship through one quarter. Let's check out the game summary. Well, they've flipped into the field. We're set for the second quarter, and the national championship trophy is in the building. Running play called on third and short. Tackle to the 28. This offense threatening now. Another first down. How about that, Chris? Third down and two. They get just enough. I thought they might bring the sticks out to measure it was so close, but they're going to give them the first down. That's just trusting your back to get the yards you need for the first down. Clemson getting set with a first and ten coming up. To throw. It's Plubnik. Gets made on the out route. He stopped, but he gets a first down. The key here, Chris is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. Clemson now operating in the red zone. Grab behind the line. It's Brown. Stopped short of the touchdown, but the offense is set up now first and goal. I love how this quarterback is finding this slot receiver. Not only is he tough to handle, but it's what he's doing after the catch. He has such wiggle and quickness. He's tough to bring down, and you see more positive yards after the catch here. The Tigers trying to punch it in. It's first and goal. Here's the handoff on first and goal. Solid tackle, able to get him down. Second down and goal now for this offense. 
And the quarterback dropping back. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Clemson. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. Set up now for the extra point try. BAT makes the score 7 3. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. Here comes the Mustangs offense back on the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Looking downfield, it's Jennings. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. Well, Chris, there's another sack by a Clemson defender. And, you know, so often in football we get so caught up in the quarterbacks and the, and the spread looks and the big explosive plays on offense. But you think about where Clemson's been for the last 10 or 12 years. I think their defense deserves as much credit as guys like Trevor Lawrence and Deshaun Watson. This defense has gone to a different level, and that's why they're a national contender every single year. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Tackle made after a big game. The Mustangs will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. About time this offense gets going, it's a first and ten. Receiver in motion now. They're going to run it. The pickup is five yards, so it's second down and five. Chris, the defense dials up the blitz. They're unable to get into the backfield, giving the running back enough room. I'll tell you, the linebacker makes a great play just to come up with a tackle here. Game makes it second and medium. Caught in the backfield. It's Daniels. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. Okay, it's third down after that run. Ending off on the draw play. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Man, the defensive coordinator has to be fired up about this play. The thing that he has to love is that his defense and their technique was right on point. They didn't lose their leverage. They stayed with the play and didn't just go after the quarterback. And the Mustangs will have to punt this one away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the punt will go out of bounds, taking the returner out of play. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. 
They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. Went it up the middle, but stuff for no gain. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Offense moving into a bunch formation. They'll run it with the draw play. Oh, there's the stiff arm. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. The draw is a good way to keep the defensive line in check and use their aggressiveness against them. It can be real effective, even in passing situations, if you mix it incorrectly. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. And they pick up the first on the ground. Uses the stiff arm and gets past the mark before being taken down. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Change of pace now looking to throw the football. Looking for the wide out. That's going to be incomplete. A first down drop here in the middle of the field. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. Incompletion sets up a second down. To the air. It's Klubnik. He'll take a deep shot here. The catch is made for a huge pickup. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Man, another big-time catch by a Clemson wide receiver. How long have you and I been saying that, it seems like, over the years? Going back to Sammy Watkins and DeAndre Hopkins and Mike Williams and Hunter Renfro and T. Higgins, all those guys on the, the NFL having great careers and now watching these players today in that same Clemson uniform making those big plays. Grab behind the line, it's Williams. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Again, makes it second and medium. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackle, but... First down. Another great pickup on the ground here by a Clemson running back. And you know, if you're going to be a running back for Clemson, you have to be able to not just do that, but also you got to be able to catch the ball to the backfield because they're dangerous in the passing game as well. We've reached the two-minute warning. We'll have to see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Clemson getting set with a first and ten now. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. There's a screen pass to the running back. And the tackle is made. The screen pass there produces a solid gain. Chris, I love the versatility of this running back. We're seeing what he can do on full display on this drive. He's been running the football very well. This time, they get him the ball out of the backfield, catching it, and he gets another positive gain. Clemson now operating in the red zone. Looking to throw. It's club Nick. Receiver makes the catch. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal yardage to the nine. Yeah, but you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, man, they're just playing very efficiently right now. And the Tigers looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. On first down, it's play action. He's moving out of the pocket. And this time, the defense is all over the quarterback run. They bring him down short of the market. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. Second and goal for the offense. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Caught near the goal line. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. 
Chris, I know they got some positive yards here, but I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this defense and the way they're flying to the football. They realize, hey, this is the national championship. They gotta try to buck up here down by their own goal line and come up with a big play now on third down. Trying to throw for it on third and goal. Looking to the end zone, and he's in! Touchdown, Tigers! Right here for the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff. We'll see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. And the SMU offense is back out on the field now. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe and point toward the second half? They pressure him and get him the loss back to the seven-yard line. Chris, I think we're starting to see a theme here in this national championship, and to me, it's this defensive pressure. I don't know if I thought that prior to this game, but now that we're watching it here in this first half, that's the second sack. They're getting after this quarterback in a big way today. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Chris, thanks. What else might we expect in a game of this magnitude? Everything on the line. The eyes of the sports world on this battle with the coveted gold trophy at stake. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to Chris and Kirk of the booth, fellas. Hard to believe we're only one half away from crowning a national champion. The Mustangs will kick this away to start the second half. He'll return it from inside the five. And the returner will be brought down. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. Runs through the defender. He'll go down, but that stiff arm earned him first down yardage. Well, the big fellow's Kirk flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge game. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back, just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain and a first down. Back to pass. It's Klubnik. Quick throw to his receiver. It's caught downfield. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield with a 48. That's nice execution to pick up the first down. A little curl rod, Kirk, against the zone. Yeah, when you play zone coverage like this, it's very difficult to defend this route if the quarterback does a nice job of reading the coverage. I thought he used his eyes there to be able to move the defense where he wanted them, created an opening in that defense, and then he made a great throw for that first down. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. And Sack sets up second down. 
There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yardage yet. Boy, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Caught behind the line. It's Randall. They don't convert. In fact, he's tackled for a loss on that third down play. Good job here by the defense on third down. Forget about throwing downfield. They go short, and they make them pay for it with a loss of yardage. The Tigers will line up to punt it away. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And this punt heads toward the sideline. Doesn't travel very far. And the kick angles out of bounds, so no return possible here. Here comes the Mustangs offense back on the field. He hands it off from the gun. A gain of two yards. Now it's second down and eight. Different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. And the Mustangs hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Under pressure, just lets it go. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. Urgency now for the offense that hates to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Dropping back, it's Jennings. Fires it to the wideout. Finds the man open on the right side downfield. Enough for a first down at the 37. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. The Mustangs with first and ten here. Quarterback drops back. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Back to throw again. And here comes a deep shot. That deep shot is caught for a big game. That's an explosive game. They've got him, but the game all the way to the 28. Well, it doesn't take long to figure out what kind of adjustments they made at halftime. Here we are, the very first series to start the second half in the championship game, and they're taking shots downfield. They clearly see matchups they want to take advantage of. And the back gets the football. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Grab behind the line. It's Smith. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Now it's third and short from the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. Try and muscle for the first down. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. And the Mustangs will come to the line looking to keep the drive going on fourth down. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Love this call on fourth down. It was a 
pretty good chance they're going to bring an extra rusher. So you read the end man, regain the numbers advantage. The end crashed. The defense sucked in on the back, and it left an open lane for the quarterback outside for the first down. Keeping it on the ground here. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. The offense gets set for the 10th play on this drive. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. They bring him down after a gain. Looks like they'll spot it inches short of a first down. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Crucial third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? They're going to throw for it on third and short. Bringing pressure. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Mustangs. Well, they slowed the game down with a long, grinding drive to produce a touchdown. That was impressive. What's impressive to me is the consistency. You know, it's one thing to hit a receiver and you can score a big touchdown. But to be able to go and sustain drives and keep the sticks moving puts a lot on the quarterback and the execution of the offense. And man, did they make that look easy. Offense still out there, down by five. They're going to go for the two-point conversion and make this a three-point game. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he stops short. The try fails, and they don't cut it to a field goal margin. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Return starts from inside the five. Returner tackled right there. That's where they'll start the drive. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. They'll tackle him out across the 20. Now this defense is going to have to mix up some looks because this back has had a monster day in the national championship. Running inside, running outside, the defense has got to do a good job of locking in on him to negate his big playability. The game makes it second and medium. Scanning the field, it's Klubnik. It's an out route, the catch made. You get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. Well, that's a nice completion to the sideline with great timing. The connection between the receiver and the quarterback was on full display to be able to get that first down. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. It's a quarterback keeper. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. I mean, every single time this guy runs the option, you're kind of like holding your breath, wondering if he's going to break a tackle or get out in the open field and use his speed. He picks up some yards here, but let's see if this defense can keep putting pressure on him and not letting him get out into the open. They'll run it from the gun. Looks like Clemson will have the first down. Just what a great battle here at the line of scrimmage. Good push by the offensive line, and the back does enough to be able to pick up the first down. This comes on offense moving quickly down the field. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Catch made on the right side. That's a big gain. Touchdown, Clemson. This quarterback on fire today. Another touchdown strike. You win national championships with elite quarterback play. And, Kirk, this guy's putting on a show. I mean, this is a national championship. Can you imagine having this kind of performance? This is something that we'll always remember. Right now, this defense is overmatched with his ability to throw the ball and the receiver's jobs of running routes. Everything's in sync right now. set up for the 
to point out to him. PAT makes it a 12 point lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it inside the five yard line. Gets it to the 25 yard line, and that's where they'll start the drive. And the SMU offense is back out on the field now. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. Can they keep it going? From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Second down play coming up for this offense. So Clemson has the lead here, Kirk, as we head to the quarter break. We've reached the end of the third quarter in this national championship battle that has lived up to the hype. Before the final period, let's check out the game stats. As we head to the final quarter of this showdown, we're going to find out who can really make the plays when it counts the most. Looking to pass, it's Jennings. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Well, I thought the defense had him here, Chris. He should be down in the backfield, but instead, he gets out of the pressure and actually picks up some positive yards. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Tackles made, but not before he makes the 43-yard line. This drive is going now. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you got a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. First down sack pushes the ball back. Second down coming up. And he drops back in the gun. Pressure is coming. Trying to get the throw off. Just throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. Chris, this offensive coordinator is going to have to adjust. We've seen hits and sacks and pressure on this quarterback all game long. They've got to find a solution to create more time for the quarterback to be able to throw the football. Or maybe completely overhaul and change what they're doing on offense. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. The pass rush closing in. And they chase him down outside the pocket for a sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. Fourth down, looking to throw for it. And he's going to float this one to the right side. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. They've got him, but they convert on fourth down, and the drive keeps going. Boy, that was fourth in a mile. I I'm surprised they even went for this. What in the world are they thinking? But... Give them all the credit in the world. They pick it up and keep the drive alive. The Mustangs will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. He hands it to the back. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine.
And now the running back's got it again. Shows off the moves there, but ultimately not much of a game. Chris, I just don't know about short games like this, especially keeping the ball on the ground. The clock keeps moving. They need points on that scoreboard in a hurry. Got to throw the football. You cannot afford to allow this clock to keep ticking. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. Looking for six, and it's incomplete, targeting a man right near the goal line. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. Looking to throw. It's Jennings. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Ponies. That was an enormous touchdown. They're still behind, but it's a one-possession game, national championship on the line. Yeah, the offense did their job to make this thing interesting. Now their opponent, what would their opponent do? Are they going to try to kill clock? Are they going to just try to run the football? Are they going to get aggressive and throw and try to score themselves? Still, a lot can happen here in these closing minutes. Here comes the point after attempt. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Now they get set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. Suddenly, this is a tighter game. You'd love to build a drive, choose some clock. How aggressive will they get with the play call? And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Second down play coming up. Handoff here from the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, with the lead here, this is where you want to just take your time. The defense, as we know, they are looking to do anything they can to create an aggressive play to try to create a turnover. So you got to work that clock, but also protect the football. I'm sure the coach right now is preaching to all his guys and reminding them about ball security at this point in the game. Fires it to the wideout. Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Hey, I understand the aggressive approach here on third down and long, trying to pick up the first down, but look at the scoreboard. You've got the lead in the fourth quarter. Smart play would have been to keep running the football, work the clock, force them to use their timeouts. Now, fourth down and long with the lead. Tough decision here. I think you got to punt it away. This one will be fair caught. Here comes the Mustangs offense back on the field. The last possession, they really had the passing game clicking. Move right down the field for a touchdown. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Man, it has been a rough night for this poor offensive line, and it's only getting worse. That's five sacks they've now given up so far in this game alone. The offensive line will have to regroup after the sack. It's second and 13. Ball handed to the running back. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Back to pass. It's Jennings. He's running out of time here. Decides not to throw it and will take an enormous loss on this sack. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I would not want to look at the game film after their performance today. It's almost like they've been moonwalking backwards the entire game, getting pushed all around by this defensive front. Chris, they've already given up six sacks alone in this game. 
And the Mustangs will line up to punt it away. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Finds his man. It's Adams. They tackle him, but not before he makes the 45 a solid game. But how about this aggressive approach by this offense? They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and these guys are continuing to throw the football. I think the offense coordinator understands that he can't allow his team to get too comfortable or complacent, even with having a lead here in the fourth. One play moves the ball to the 45. It'll be first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. The tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. Chris, this guy has a big-time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. We head now to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. Linebacker shifting around now. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. Off play action, he's looking to throw. He'll be taken down. The defense rises up with a sack in a crucial moment. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. With the sack on first down, it's second down. And of course, they'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Looking for a gap. It's Maffa. Only gets a couple of yards there. It'll bring up fourth down. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. And the Tigers will bring their punt team onto the field. That's his fourth punt already today. The punt will bounce and head out of bounds. That's right near the goal line. Perfect execution. And the SMU offense is back out on the field now. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. They'll crank up the tempo here on second down. The time is running out. To throw, it's Jennings. He escapes the sack. And the clock winding down. They'll take a deep shot. Caught way downfield for a huge game. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. Love this throw by the quarterback, Chris, because he gives his receiver a chance. I was always taught on a nice deep post route put it up in the air and as far as you can throw it and let the receiver run underneath it. Let him adjust his timing. It's exactly what they were able to do here and they get a big game. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. A smart decision here by the defensive coordinator to go with dime coverage, get more speed on the field, extra defensive backs, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football for this quarterback. They need to score quickly here, trying to dial up some big plays. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Throws a fastball, but it's intercepted. Not much on the return there, but the takeaway will give the offense the football at the 46. I get wanting to be aggressive, but down late in the game like this, that's a throw you just can't make. And now, you're probably not going to get the ball back. This could end up costing them the game. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. And that knee should do it. We have our next...